This is a great idea for a movie. It is? Yeah, Bleach Buttholes Day Out. <laughs> where a guy bleaches a butthole and he's like, I'm going to rim job that later. But then it escapes. And he's chasing it through New York like it's in a construction site and gets lifted up on a, a big girder. And they're chasing after it. There's like two two of them now for some reason. And now they are criminals also. And so we can laugh at their pain because they get hit with girders. They get bashed by gorillas and things at the zoo. All sorts of wacky hijinks as this... I'm imagining now a disembodied ass <laughs> is just rolling down New York. Like that one thing that one guy told us about that's like feet and butthole. Remember yeah. that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a sex toy called the Flip Me, flip me and Fuck Me, which oh, is just an one. asshole with feet. <laughs> uh, and it's like that. We could actually just buy one of those and just put like put roller skates on it and push it down a hill and get two bumbling crooks. I don't know. Let's call them... Let's say Willem Dafoe and Brendan Fraser. They're uh, good. They're good actors. In, yeah. in, in Bleached Buttholes Day Out. <laughs> Like, oh, I just bleached this butthole, this Willem Dafoe. I just bleached this butthole. I can't wait to give it a good old rim job later. I'm going to get those cheeks. I'm going to pull them apart. And I'm going to go... Blah, 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 blah. That's some tasty bleached butthole, kids. That's you want to watch it? Y'all can't fucking wait. And Brendan Fraser's just there like, But also don't forget that we are jewel thieves. And that means it's okay that this butthole might get away and we get hurt while chasing it down the street. He's Scottish. Ah, (laughs) we are criminals. That makes anything that happens to us okay in cinema. But don't worry, that bleach butthole ain't gonna get... What? He says as he turns around and sees that the bleached butthole, which is a flip-me-fuck-me sex doll on roller skates, is now rolling down a hill. And he's like, come on, Stevie McSteels. You and I are going to go get that butthole so we can lick the shit out of it. Well, not literally lick the shit out of it, because you bleached it nice and proper and gave it the requisite anima, which will allow you to lick that butthole tasty clean. Can eat my dinner off that asshole. Yeah, can we can eat our dinner off that asshole? But no one's eating till we get that butt. Come on. And they <laughs> jump in a jalopy and chase it down the road in a car. Like um, an old Mr. Magoo car? An old Mr. Magoo <laughs> car. With um, written on the side of the car is they are criminals, don't forget. And they steer the car and crash it into uh, a, an oil tanker. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's just there and it blows up and they run out on fire and their hair's like burning and their skin's melting off and they're looking at the camera going we're criminals so it's okay that we boin ah! and the skin all melts off and it's just a skull and the skull looks at and you can tell that Willem Dafoe's fiery hands have grabbed the cameraman holding the camera and you can hear behind the camera a man choking saying please Willem stop ah, stop Willem And he just looks at the camera with his skull face. The eyes in the skull are still perfectly fully, like, formed. They've not melted or anything. They're just staring, unblinking, because the eyelids have melted off. And they just stare, (laughs) unblinking, while a big tongue, which also is still preserved, just looks at the camera and goes, Hey, kids! What a day! It cuts to the next scene. The arse is on the construction site being lifted on a girder, and there's Willem Dafoe and Phoebe McSteels, uh, both fully normal. They're totally normal. fine? Yeah, it's like Tom and Jerry, it's fun, it's for the kids, it's a family film, Disney are involved. And they're like, get up there and get that asshole, <laughs> Phoebe McSteels. Fuck off, you go up there and get it. No, you do it, oh, okay. And... Stephen McSteels grabs onto a girder and the girder's lifting up and he's lifting him up and he's not holding onto anything on the girder. He's just going, whoa, whoa. And and, um, Willem Dafoe down there, he's called Burglar Man, um, shouts up and goes, Brandon Freight on Stephen McSteels. Be careful balancing up there so you don't fall. And he's like, oh, I'm balancing all right. Oh, nothing will happen to me. And then the girder, the, the chain holding the girder up that's been craned up snaps and the girder falls. 
And um, Brendan Fraser falls off and goes, oh, fuck me up the asshole. And he falls. And there's all these metal, um, jagged metal spikes coming out the ground. And he falls in them. And you can hear his, his spine with a wet snap just crack as a oh. spike juts into it and comes out of his belly. And oh. another one goes through his neck. And one's coming out through his um, eyeball from the back of his head. And the eyes just pierced on the end of it. And he's just in there, like blood's just pouring, bubbling up out of his mouth. And he's just going, Kill me! It hurts so much! And Willem Dafoe's like pointing, as, as Burglar Man is pointing and slapping his own thigh and going, Ah! He fell on the spikes! Ah! Ah, he's a boigler, so it's morally acceptable. Ah, and he looks up and goes, oh, shit. And the girder falls on his head. And you hear the skull, like it's in slow motion, and you can see the head just, like, collapse in on itself. Oh, gross. As in slow motion, just the sound of skull just buckling under the pressure. And bone chips and bits of brain uh, matter just fly towards the camera uh, uh, in, in ultra 3D vision. And smashes him. And that's basically the film. There are more scenes, but it's basically the same concept. It's they see the ass, chase the ass, and then, you know, become hurt uh, through the manner of their informed criminal careers. What's the rate what's the rating? How do you edit this for television? It's a family oh, this is, movie. Yeah, this is a G movie. I was in my mind picturing There's trying to dub out all the swears. For comic mischief. Ah, oh, fuzz me up the ace! He could yell as he's falling. And then when he hits the, the, the spikes, I guess they just have to do the special effects over again so it's like sweat or something that comes out instead of blood. Yeah, it's just white. Yeah, like a whitish, clearish liquid. Yeah, so like he's sat there, like covered in this thick white liquid that's just bubbling out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, like the, like the sweat code for Mortal Kombat. Yeah, he's Brendan Fraser. Mm, he'll be fine. <laughs> Comic mischief. You know, yeah. there's, there's a bit of, of light language in the film. And, and you know, like I say, comic violence. It's, it's, that was some pretty harsh language. Not that I think language it can be harsh uh, as long as the meaning isn't harsh. But you were saying, fuck me up the ass. <laughs> and uh, oh, shit, I'm dying. Oh, fuck. And that sort of thing. It's pretty intense. You'd I have to dub that out. I don't remember saying any of that. I think you did. I, I could be remembering wrong as well, but, you know, you'd have to uh, change ass to ace or place or uh, or grass a lot. Da, 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 da. Ow. 